It's time for business news with Richard Southern. And Richard, we begin with the state of the Canadian economy and the long recovery process from the pandemic. Yeah, the Bank of Canada, Erica, checking in today. The bank left interest rates unchanged, but as it always does, it let us know where it thinks the economy is headed and actually downgraded its expectations for 2021 slightly. It thinks the economy is going to grow 6% this year. That's still pretty robust. It actually thinks we are going to see a fairly strong second half of the year as people get out and spend more. The bank, though, increasing its expectations for the Canadian economy next year. It thinks we'll see economic growth of 4.6% in 2022. The bank did talk about inflation. We know inflation is up. Things are costing more, especially when you go to the grocery store. The bank, though, says it thinks inflation is just temporary owing to the pandemic. Economists I'm speaking to, Erica, think the bank is laying the groundwork for a possible rate hike in the second half of next year. All right. And it was three years ago that recreational marijuana was legalized here in Canada. And now it appears the United States could follow suit, Richard. Yeah. So, you know, a lot of individual states have legalized marijuana, but it is still illegal federally in the states. And that poses a big issue for companies down there in the cannabis trade, because if you want to do banking, very difficult because the banks in the states are federally regulated. All this could change, though. U.S. senators today unveiled a bill that would legalize cannabis federally in the states, ending decades of prohibition. What does it look like? Well, much like alcohol in the states, you would have to be 21 years of age to buy cannabis. Uh, you would be permitted to buy up to 10 ounces at once. That's a lot more than here in Canada. We're only allowed to buy one ounce or 28 grams at a time. Uh, the new law would ensure that U.S. states that don't allow the sale of cannabis would still be able to keep it illegal, and they're going to tax it in the states. The proposal is to tax it at uh, a 10 percent rate with that growing uh, every year for five years. Didn't do much to help out the cannabis stocks on Bay Street. They were lower today. They've been in the dumps for a while, Eric. Interesting. All right. And finally, summer travel is in full flight across the U.S., even for one airline that happens to share its name with a COVID-19 variant. Yes, Delta Airlines says the Delta variant isn't impacting bookings in the United States. Delta CEO was out talking about this today. Uh, he says the spread of that highly transmissible COVID-19 variant uh, hasn't disrupted bookings at all. In fact, uh, domestic bookings at Delta and at many of the other big U.S. airlines are almost back to where they were before the pandemic. So at least when you're talking about travel within the United States, Americans are doing that. Americans are flying again. Delta also said that 72 percent of its employees have been vaccinated and it did a survey of its customers and it found a vast majority of them also vaccinated.